you know, just checking checking the hair out. I'm gonna get scared. I've gotta have the hair look good, right? Right? Am I right? True. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a little friend nearby here. Support. She's gonna hang out for a minute. <laughs> this is Abby. You don't know her. You don't get to see her. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got my uh, awesome Beeble glitches be glitching shirt on, guys. It's such a cool shirt. You wish you had one. So, we're going to continue with control. And where we left off last time, I believe we had... Mm, didn't we... You don't know. What did we do? We um, fixed the cooling system or um, the power... Oh, my, my light. Let me find my light. There it is. Okay. So, yeah, we um, did the cooling pumps, fixed the power of the whole building or something. Man, these loading screens, I tell you. That's the only bad thing about this game. It's really fun, though. Hey, hey, I see somebody's here in the chat. Let me pull it up here. Hi, Moose. Did you by chance see the pic I sent you on Discord? I did not. I can look at it right now. What's up, Moose? How you doing? I'm such a tiny little, like, ghost of a of an image here in the corner. I hope that's okay, guys. <laughs> Um, I don't have a way to put on more light, really. Would you maybe hit that light switch in the bathroom right there? First one on the wall, yeah. Does that help? Ooh, that helps. That helps. I'm still a tiny little ghost person. Is this like what they see? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, okay. Moose, where'd you put this picture? General? Oh, the one from Tomb Raider? Oh, I did see that. I totally saw that. That is a badass picture of Tomb Raider. With the fire. I love it. No, I did see that. I thought I responded to that. Kitty heart eyes. There it is. My buddy Moose. Alright, let me get the stream caught up here. No, I DM'd you. Hello, other person. <laughs> Moose says hi. Hi, Moose. <laughs> Can you make a random screenshot tab? I'm doing good. At work, just well working. Hello, other person. No, I DM'd you. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it after the stream. Sound good? Yeah? Okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, so yeah, we ended off at the power plant. We have to lift the internal lockdown. We got some... They're not magic powers. There are para-utilitarian para powers. So let's assign some of these abilities. We have three... What do we want to unlock here? Launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy. Ooh, that's a good one. Or add to these things. Let's launch their bombs back at themselves at them. Yeah. And then we'll wait for a few more points to unlock the others, because it'll take three. Um we don't need to fast travel. We just gotta go up there. How am I getting up there? Here we go. Oh yeah, remember we threw a bunch of radioactive sludge into the fire? That was fun. Remembering some of my buttons here. Ooh. Override. NSC control room. Alright, where's this control room?
power plant. Furnace change work. Coolant pumps. Control room. Oh my gosh. I hear gunfire. What's happening? <gasps> what? Oh. Hello. I really just like the throwing at, at people. I do have my gun. There we go. Woo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh. Deputy Staff Officer ID 00675 Stand down! No, he's taken over by the hiss <gasps> Oh no I do not like these guys. Go away! Go away! <gasps> I think I just almost exploded myself. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, still one more guy. Come here. Come here. Yeah, all right. We did it. We fought him off. How's that officer? Did she make it? I don't know if she made it. This guy's okay. You're all right. You're okay. Good, 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 good. I don't think the girl made it. Don't know. Blockages and pipes see through. Where were you? Why weren't you out there helping us? Come on back. <laughs> it feels a lot safer when you're around. Lift internal lockdown using directorial override. Yeah, okay, we know about that. We could talk to him about all this stuff, but we don't need to. Try to stay right. alive. You got a lockdown to lift. Where's the control room? Why can't I ask him that? I think it's this way. Control room. There it is. Floor. Ooh. Hmm. How you doing, Moose? Are you at work? I like that. I like when you get to pull it from behind them. Okay, I hear more. There you are. Okay, that's it for now.
hear the music. Oh, there he is. Rockets. I don't like that. Where is he? Oh, I don't even see him anymore. All right, fine. I feel like I should run and get some of this health. Where'd this guy go? <gasps> <laughs> I'm leaping like an antelope. <laughs> oh. Well, that was a good shot. There we go. Thank you. Hmm? What are those floating people? Oh, the floating people are taken over by the hiss, but haven't been so taken over that their functions are taken over. They're kind of floating and like, um, they are actually chanting like this kind of weird nonsensical garbledy goop. But it's kind of like the hiss, the hiss is like taking over basically. So will they eventually transform? Huh? Will they eventually like transform? We oh. tried to save them and it destroys them. Yeah. Sadly, they may not be able to be saved. They might eventually, you know, this is the fun part of it, is there are some scientists in the building and they're kind of like trying to study it at the same time that we're being attacked by it. So like, yeah, like there's um, uh, all these pamphlets, like research and records. I have like a oh. file on each one of the enemies. So this is like his corrupted their um, inhuman appearance, no physical transformation, but then there's these guys and they get they get worse. Oh, those are the ones I really don't like. They just float around and they like explode. Huh. And then these guys, they're actually like when the hiss takes over the body of someone who's actually trained in weaponry and stuff, they actually continue to carry those traits. Some of some of regular people, like uh, Tomasi was the head of a, the mail department, and he became this kind of guy where he's like floats around and he throws stuff at you. Hmm. And then these guys, uh, so they're, they're, all, they're all worse. They look like they're just like hanging there. Just yeah. Hanging there. Yeah, this was the old director of the Bureau of Control. Uh, that's who Jesse took over for. He killed himself, and then we got his gun, and now the, we keep getting called the director. Huh. Jesse does, okay. and so Jesse, she's, but she's there to find her brother. So she's like, "Am I the director?" They call me the director, but I'm not the director. I'm here to find my brother. Mm -hmm. But then she's also like one of the only people who isn't affected by the hiss, even though she's not wearing this contraption that it, the people who are still okay are wearing. Okay. So yeah. It's kind of fun, like, cause, so you pick up these things and you can read all these different stuff. These are all, like, files on the peri perinatural things that go down. What is this? Federal Bureau of Control. That gross blockage down in the water system is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Ati keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like it can understand him. Of course, he acts like he can understand him, too. Guess that's just his brand of crazy. I'm going to try out a new drain cleaner, Extreme Strength. So there's also a janitor in the story, and J J Ati, he's like, you work for me, you're the janitor's assistant. Huh. <laughs> and he's kind of kooky, he speaks a few different languages. <laughs> we like him. Hi Moose! Oh no. Leave me alone. Oh no, leave me alone? What? I didn't mean to bother you, what's going on Moose? Leave me alone. <laughs> what does that mean? 
Or are you empathizing with my plight and all these nasty piss people? Control room. Up here? I was just up here. We're trying to find the control room, guys. Is this the control room? Is it up there? I'm a little confused, guys. Ooh, I can also consult my map. <sighs> Looks like I need to... <gasps> oh, I forgot I could do that. <laughs> Scared me. Yes, that's what you said earlier. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, control room. Thank goodness. We found it. Oh. All right. Yeah. So we got the two systems working. Oh. What's going on in here? <gasps> A lot of red stuff over there. <gasps> oh! Get him? Oh, I got him. Woo! Alright, let's go cleanse this room. Let's cleanse this house. Is red bad? Is red bad? That's the hiss. The hiss is red. Nice. Go, Maddie, go! Hey, Dimash, what's up, sweetie pea? How you doing? The dead director's talking to this me. This is what we came here to do. I think we got it. Oh, here it is. Directorial override panel. How nice of them to paint it on the floor for us. Ooh, the gun fits. Ooh. This means we get access to the rest of the bureau. We've been on lockdown. We're no longer on lockdown, people. That's it. I proclaimed it. Should be no, not in, not in real life. In the video game. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. Ooh, you two should get to know each other. We're gonna speak to Emily about our imaginary friend and our brother, Sector Ellen. Very cool. Oh, Ooh, we could go see Ati again, or no, let's go to the sector elevator. We gotta go talk to Emily. Wait, we can get in here now too. <laughs> God, what do we got? Give it to me. Book Club. Lopez. Unless you. Review by Captain Lopez. These days, most YA novels intertwine the coming-of-age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance. Unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. 
To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous uncharted territories. The people all live in walled cities now just because dystopian future. And along the way, they just have to fall in love. I like how we never got to know if the fix was ac ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for YA. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interests to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that's the job can still be get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone and surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I give this book 3 out of 5. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. <laughs> oh, a little goodie box. Goodie box, goodie box. But boom boom boom. get in there yet? Nope. Okay, we'll go talk to Emily. So Dimash, does that mean you're done with work since you're in the chat or are you still finishing up? I hope it wasn't too bad of a day. Moose is working. Let's see. Doing good at work. Well working. <laughs> All right. Hope has asked us to document the his incantation. Mm -hmm. We didn't get any points for that. Jesse, you made it, and you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother. <laughs> her face. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created... doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the Yeah, the, the animation is pretty great. Something. A being. And it's in my head! <laughs> what kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... Fractals. She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. So where's they my brother? Out. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. Uh. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. 
Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? I love that this me, character, Emily, she's just, like so Veronica, ready to go on board with anything. Very <laughs> powerful. You call it Polaris? Alright, cool. What's Polaris like for results. coffee? Your readings are <laughs> incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them to the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a Does anyone else, like, for a potential if there's bureau director. Uh, this subtitles, like, you ago. can't help but read it, Dylan, even though you can just Dylan? see and hear? Mm, yeah, yeah. I have to read it! <laughs> Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. All right, clearance level three. Mm -mm. Although she's the director Marshall and no the one's step. given her clearance <laughs> for what like everything. Told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. Something's we coming. I don't know what it visit. is, but it is gonna be I great. You owe me now. <laughs> oh, we owe the scary and janitor. I will come huh. call you. <laughs> There's all these really fun, like creepy cutscenes in this mm, game. All right, a bunch of new missions. Got a bunch of points right there. I love that. Five ability points, yay! Okay, so what do we want? What do we want? Health or energy? Health. Energy, health, energy. Uh, we'll go with health. And then we got two more. We'll save up. Yeah, be good. Because there isn't one worth two right now. Launch basic enemies when their health is low. Oh, that's worth two. <laughs> Let's take it. <laughs> Burn in a hole in my pocket. All right. So we want to go to the research sector, which a lot of these questions could be answered by obtaining a live specimen here. But we don't have the proper facilities. Maybe. Is it through the elevator? Yeah, research sector. Here we go. Oh, I'm scared. Got this. <laughs> Hello, Mash. Moose says hi to Mash. New bureau employees often get lost in shifting corridors. Oh, yeah. Tell us about our map.
Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of great importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and to follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. <laughs> I love how cheery he is. Research sector, bad huh? things will happen. Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Ugh. So scary. All right, research sector. <gasps> what? Oh my god! He threw shit at me. Ooh! Yikes! Oh, I knew there was another one. Oh yeah, that's a good um Like there's more. Oh yeah, down here. Someone's shooting at me. Woo! They seem to have a sniper. of them. Oh my gosh. of it where I don't think I should be at all. Ah. No, 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 no! Shit, shit, shit. No health, no health. Oh my god. I have no health. There's no health down here. Will they come after me down here? Oh, there we go. Get a little health in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's this crap? Go away.
during all that. But we made it. We made it. <laughs> oh my god. So scary. It keeps coming back. What the heck? Let's see, is that the research sector? Oh, there's a third one. Three is sometimes the charm, right? Ha ah. ah. I need to reach her. Oh, that's sad and scary. He got smooshed in the walls. What's going on? The building has shifted. Hmm. through mm. oh there we go <gasps> uh. health. Got to grab the health. again. Oh! Dead. Dead. Tis the end. Tis the end. My only friend. The end. Oh. It's a shame. Right. Right, Wedge. What? Guys, I had a great day off. Great day off at home. Mash, are you coming home? He must be driving because he's not responding. But I've got a bomb-ass salad planned for us. It's going to be so yum. Whew. We're going to do all this again? Oh, man. For real, though? Okay, we don't. I'm glad that would have be said. Alright, I think I'm going to start up the stairs. 
make them come to me. Although this is where I died last time. Trick it, trick it, trick it. Ah! We're gonna have to master that a little better. Yeah, well, that wasn't a good run. Um, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't good. There's a lot I can do better. Quick, guys, I'm just going to share the link. See if anybody wants to hop on. She run, keep running, girl. I'm making you run. Oh no way! Serious? Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, I have to do this again. Keeping a balance between your gunfire and your para, para abilities. I'm switching off between the two.
very much. Come here, baby. Are there none more? I think they're done. I think we got them. No, I hear one. I hear the music. Oh my gosh. Such bad aim. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, well, look at that. Flip whip hack, yes. Yes. Yeah, that was cool. Alright, well, fills up on health. I'm just curious about this room. Why is it all red? That is kind of cool. <gasps> oh! Oh no, there's a possessed person in there. Dang. I can't help you, I'm sorry. Oh, how awful for them. Ooh. Wow, that person too. Oh my. What's this say? Details. Transcript of a call to the California State Emergency Services. Dispatcher 911, what is your emergency? Voice, hello, hello, I'm here, can you hear me? Dispatcher, I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? Voice, I am um, inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I've been stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. Okay, and can you describe your surroundings? Unknown noise. Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? Dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. I don't see any other tidbits to pick up. This room is interesting. Yellow balls. Oh, the janitor's been in there. And just a table. Fascinating. Alright, so we're headed to research, hopefully. Here we go. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the Astro Plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems. And simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid. Oh, hey, inside. Dropping a quick the chip. Board. 
like and heading out I haven't played through this yet so don't want to spoil it I got you no worries have a great stream thanks you can't control me Maddie <laughs> or do I without even knowing it <laughs> thanks inside for stopping by hey Viter good to see you thanks for coming by All right, so. Ooh. A cool office. Works lab, okay. Astral exhibition. Processes and best practices. Astral plane exhibition summary. The astral exhibition was originally built for the astral knots to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before driving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but deleted was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the deleted, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the deleted behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in it. But Rome wasn't built in a day. Refer to file 319-3811 for full report. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Huh. I wonder what they used to call it. Hmm. That's weird. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective, but that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fume, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. What's this? Oh, we've been here. Oops. Oh my god. It's one of those things. Yikes. Oh, we gotta get that beeping to stop. What does this do? <gasps> what, that lets me in there? Oh, I don't want to go in there. I guess I have to. Let's get the beeping to stop, please. Oh shit. Aww. Ah! Oh my god, it's right there! <laughs> oh my god, it's fast! Holy crap, that thing is fast! Okay, okay, okay. We gotta get it. We gotta get it in. In there. 
And we're probably gonna need this power source. I just have a feeling. <gasps> oh my god. It's it's tricky. It's a tricky being. Oh, there we go. There we go. How, can I lead it in here? Oh yeah, come in here. Okay, okay, okay. How do I shut this door? How do I shut this door? Oh. Oh my god. Can I shut it from the outside? What is this shit? Does that shut this? No. Nope. What did it shut? Oh, it shut that. What does that do? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. I have a feeling that. Oh! Wait, what did I get? What did that do? Oh god. I need to have two. Okay, come this way! Come this way! Does it come in here? Come on in! No! No do it! No do it! What was the Bureau doing with that thing? Oh my god. Wow. That was crazy. No, my mind is my own. Be gone from my headspace, you you mad fish. <laughs> hey, Maddie and chat, driving home. All right, sweetie. Drive safe. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. Oh, I see bad guys. So, this thing gives all the bad guys a buff. So they'll heal if you don't take them out in a single blow. Uh, where is it? Where'd it go? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so low on health. So low on health. Oh, we just gotta run. 
We hope for the best. Oh, those little chair people are horrible. I hate them. Okay, it looks like we're okay in this area. Ooh. What's that? Recording chair procedures. Federal Bureau of Control, before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. One, ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in the chair. Two, ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the recording process, which can lower the quality of the captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some consider upsetting. Check if the volunteer is comfortable. Activate the recording apparatus. Five, after recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Reminder, do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of con unconsciousness. Astral dilation is a known issue. If any problems arise during this process, contact your supervisor. Drive safe, MASH. Yes. Okay. You know, I didn't want that table there anymore, so I just thought I'd push it. Oh. Executive hiss nodes. Here, Marshall. She's around. We got this cool, like, split up brain. Cute little things to grab. Oh my goodness. Investigate the X ray light box object of power. Okay, that's a thing. So, that big yellow title that came up while we were in the middle of battle. This is one of the things I want to change about this playthrough. And I might not do it now. Because uh, we're getting towards the end of the stream here. But. If you look at your missions. Right. The one that just came up. Is executive hiss nodes. 18 minutes. You see there's a timer there. Go to the communications department. So. This is like. I've got all these other kind of main-ish or side quests, Old Boys Club, Speak with Marshall, Investigate the Training Course, that was a little side mission we picked up along the way, and a captive audience, Investigate the X-Ray Lightbox Object of Power. Those two are still little side projects. Speaking with Marshall is the main, and then this thing, which if we begin it, we have 18 minutes to complete it. That's the whole idea with these. So. I was thinking with this playthrough because on my last I didn't uh, totally finish all the DLCs and I felt a little underpowered so I'm like well when these come up I need to try to actually do them 
So, I'm thinking, let's try it out. We gotta go to the communications department. And we're here to fast travel. So let's check it out. Um, this is where we are, and we wanna go to communication. Well, isn't that, yeah, there it is. Right next to the dead letter, so we'll use this fast travel to get there, or do we want to go to the director's office? Let's do that. That seems like a little more direct. And the hiss nodes are like those little clusters of red that we saw earlier. Um, and we just gotta go find him and shoot him. I'm sure there's gonna be some enemies too. But if we do well, and we don't die within that 18 minutes, and we finish before 18 minutes, then we get more XP, I think? Yeah, so that'll be the idea. We'll just kind of do this nice uh, XP grind as we go along, and those things pop up. They seem to always pop up at the worst times, very inconvenient, like while you're mid main storyline mission. It's very strange. All right, so we got the timer going, you see. And communications department. Let's just check our map. Huh. Okay. Uh, this is where I wanted to go. And up? I want to go up in there. the right area. Marshall lockdown distinction. Oh. Oh, Shiza. Am I in the right place? I don't see any nodes around. Definitely data breach goodies, but this is not the nodes that I'm looking for. I don't think this is the right area. Don't see any nodes. Also, should check. Wait, it says communications department. The whole area though. Dang, how do I know where the nodes are? Um Oh, I see the nodes. I see them. How do I get in there? Oh, right here. Fabulous. Here's a node. Okay. 
big old gun. Oh my god. Big old gun. Shit. I need my abilities back ASAP. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, there's one more node somewhere. Where's this node? Uh, it's like hidden very cleverly. But it should give off kind of a reddish glow, right? Give us a clue. Aha. We did it! Sounds like- Oh! fire thing went off. That's hilarious. I've never seen that before. Uh, nice. Alright, cool. So, we successfully accomplished the Hiss Nodes. Timed a little bit there. And I think that gave us some good XP. So, right on. We'll go to this little cleansing spot and do a little save here. Guys, this has been so fun uh, to hop on and play a little control with y'all. Vanilla's here. Hi. Hi, boss. Grats. And ooh, control. Yeah, I know, Vanilla. You're kind of trying to not do any spoilers either. Been lurking. Well, cool game so far for me. Good. I'm glad you were enjoying it, boss. You know, it's just a little spooky, not too scary. Kind of my style. I don't, I don't like anything too gory or, or crazy, but yeah, I can handle this, and I like paranatural stuff. That's fun. So, thank you all for joining me. I'm going to sign off for tonight, and I am going to... Ogre, hi! <laughs> Everyone's hopping on right when I'm getting off. Oh, man. I got to make a salad for dinner when Damascus gets home. Um... <laughs> oi, oi, so good to see you. I'm thinking Fridays, guys. Fridays around 8-ish. I'm going to start doing some control. So you're welcome to stop on by. Um, or, you know, hop on after the other streams you're watching. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was lots of fun. Oh, my gosh. My hands are sweaty. That's when I know it's time to go. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, also guys, I haven't posted yet, but I'm going to put a little questionnaire in my Discord about if I was going to release a content video on Mondays, what would you like to see? So, look for that. Um, Vanilla says, no problem, it's cool. It's like 5.30 in the morning, I woke up, so came to say hi. Oh, sweet. Great stream. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. Yay. Yeah, hit the like if you had a good time and... Um, I'll see you guys on Sunday streaming. Oh no, I. Tom, I gotta talk to you about this. <laughs> He's not here, but 
Um, I won't be able to stream D2 with Tom on Sunday, but check it out because they're doing the raid and it's awesome. 2 p.m. Pacific time, D2 Sunday. I'll be back in the swing of things Monday, but Mondays I'm going to maybe do some content instead of stream. So Tuesdays, it's a big day. Uh, that'll be 11 a.m. Pacific time, hopping on with Scottish Rod for some fun No Man's Sky. We're going to hatch all of our babies. We're going to have a baby shower. And then I do Tomb Raider Tuesday. And then I have fun with Dimash, Mash and Maddie after uh, where we kind of do whatever we want. It's been D D2. We've been playing some Gambit. Who knows what we'll do? I don't know. Look at this guy. Who's having a baby? <laughs> We're having No Man's having Sky baby? babies. No Man's Sky babies on Tuesday. Uh. Egg hatching, you silly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Moose. Uh, ending already. Yeah, Moose. I gotta go eat and, like, uh, you know, tuck in. Maybe play some D2. I don't know. This has been fun, though. Thank you so much. And I hope the rest of your work day goes well, Moose. Um. Nella says, hi, Dimash. <laughs> what am I going to listen to on the way home? <gasps> Moose, are you going to be streaming when you get home? Uh, you know we'll be there for that. I'm going to be hopping on. You know, I guess, you know, here's here's what I'll do, guys. Let me run to Marshall. Should I run to Marshall? Say hi. Have we ever checked this one? Oh, no, we haven't. <laughs> Looks like some people have been drinking. They were like, the world's ending. Let's drink. Whoa. What is that? It's not really music. What is that? Oh, toilet. Okay, there we go. There's some music. Not really my style. <laughs> now, nah, we'll save uh, talking with Marshall for next time, guys. Um, but thank you again for being here. Do we get this one? No. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy. Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed. Inside that wooden border that the motel beds tend to have? And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below. They only found the body when the housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me. No chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange, something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes you, 
these little collectibles it's great all right that's it guys we'll see you next friday with more control and uh through the next week with a lot more good times and more fun so huzzah thanks for being here <laughs> bye